Hello, you absolutely wonderful, amazing, fabulous person. And thank you so much for clicking on my video. I really hope that you do enjoy it. Today, we are gonna be talking about something a little different for me. And that is, we're gonna be talking about my most venomous and dangerous animals in my collection. If you have seen my username, you know that I specialize in keeping animals that are only slightly venomous. So ones that, you know, most of my tarantulas and scorpions uh, bite or sting would be about as bad as a bee sting. But I do have a couple animals in my collection that the venom would be worse than that. Um, getting envenomated by these animals I'm about to show you could likely lead in a fairly bad day, though not likely to result in death unless you go into anaphylaxis due to allergic reaction. Um, but you may feel really bad and you may need hospitalization. <laughs> so these animals are great. I love them. I treat them with respect but I think that they deserve to be shown as not these big, scary, crazy monsters that are gonna track you down and, and envenomate you and kill you because that's just not how it works. <laughs> but I do not recommend going out and grabbing a brown recluse and playing with it because that is not smart. You need to be smart when you're dealing with animals with medically significant venom. So, I just wanted to give you a good look at them here from the safety of your YouTube screen where you can see them and just see how cool they are and just know that they deserve respect and they're awesome animals. So I know that it can be a little bit scary, so I brought some emotional support. Some emotional support anime characters to lighten the mood. I also brought this super cute pink handkerchief thing that I will be placing them on to show you because it's cute and it's pink and it's not scary, it's nice. So without any further ado, let's start looking at the animals. So the first one that I will show you is my Death Stalker Scorpion. And mine is tiny, it's a very small baby, but it's so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you from this angle because he's so little. Right in that corner? Can you see? So teeny. This little guy is so small. I almost thought I lost him. <laughs> yep, this is the the very scary death stalker scorpion. Very tiny baby, and I just think he is the cutest thing in the whole world. But yeah, look at that tiny little guy compared to my finger. That's my fingernail compared to him. He's so tiny. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how he really doesn't want anything to do with me. He really doesn't want to touch me. He's not trying to sting me. See, he wants to get away. So this is the notorious Death Stalker Scorpion. And they're just cute, I think. And if you see one, don't touch it, leave it alone admire it from afar, but yeah, that is a medically significantly venomous scorpion. So cool nonetheless. <laughs> the next one I'm gonna show you is also a scorpion. And this is the yellow fat tail scorpion. The subtype of yellow fat tail scorpions are medically significant when it comes to venom. This little guy is right here. And he's actually very scared of everything. Whenever I feed him, he's very afraid of it. And he's kind of a little wimp. Fun fact, and don't take this as life or death, but generally a way to kind of get a decent idea of if a scorpion has medically significant venom or not is that if they have large claws in a skinny tail, they are generally going to be using their claws as their method of defense and food, food, food collection, food, food, of grabbing their prey, okay? 
um, but if they have small claws and a thick tail, there is a good chance that they are using venom to take down their prey slash defend themselves. But once again, scorpions are not likely to sting you unless maybe they like crawl in your shoe and then you put your foot in there or if you mess with them. So if you see a scorpion, don't mess with it. <laughs> Just don't. Okay, this guy is super uninterested in staying on this pink handkerchief. He really um, doesn't want to participate. He wants to hide under his enclosure. Um, I want you to get a good look because it's a cool looking scorpion. But yeah, this one is pretty mad. This one would definitely sting if messed with. But that's why we don't mess with them, right? We only take them out for educational purposes like this. And then it's going to put them right back in his tank. That's that one. Next, we're going to move into the spiders. And... Of course, what would a collection of venomous animals be without a black widow? My black widow is named Peaches, and again, she's very nervous. Um, when I feed her, she's scared. When I water her, she gets scared. She really wants nothing to do with me. She doesn't want to be handled. She really just wants to stay far away from me and not have me mess with her. So yeah, that's her. She's doing her thing. Um, Black Widows, I think they're absolutely beautiful. They do take down a lot of annoying and harmful pests in the wild, flies, mosquitoes, things that pass along diseases. So these guys really help in taking care of those populations. And so that's why I think they are awesome. They deserve respect. Once again, don't just play with a Black Widow. If you see one somewhere, leave it alone, admire its beauty, but just know that they are awesome. They are keeping really bad pests away from us and they really don't want anything to do with you at all trust me okay here we have peaches she's the black widow she's a very pretty girl she did not want to come out of her enclosure she very much just wanted to stay in her enclosure she does not like being messed with. She often plays dead um, if I poke around. Oh, oh, and she's going back home. How did you do that? How did she do that? Okay, I don't know how she just did that, but she somehow went from my paintbrush back home. So you can see how non-confrontational she is. She was literally like, I'm going home. I'm not doing this. <laughs> so yeah, um, okay, cool. So yeah, that's her. So the last thing I'm gonna talk about is my brown recluse spider. And now I know it's very common amongst people who don't know a lot about spiders to think that every spider they see is a brown recluse, when in reality it's probably not because brown recluses are, as their name would suggest, very reclusive. So they're not likely to venture out and stumble upon you. <laughs> Likely they are hiding in crevices, behind furniture, under logs, like, you know, hiding, re being reclusive. That's what they are. That's what they literally they are named for. Now, does that mean that they will not bite you and they're not capable of it? No, they can. And, you know, everyone has a story of their mother's, father's, sister's, dog's aunt being bitten by a brown recluse and having half their skin melt off. I'm not saying that won't happen. I'm not saying that can't happen. And I'm not saying to play with brown recluse. But what I am saying is that it's highly unlikely to come in contact with one. And if you do, it's probably a huge accident. Like maybe it crawled onto something into your sweater and then you put your sweater on or you lean against it or something like that. They are not going to come out and target you. That's just not what's going to happen. And again, they take down annoying pests. So if you see them and they're not, you know, in a bad place in your home where they need to be escorted outside, you know, if they're outside, they're just living their life, just leave them alone because they're probably really scared of you and they probably really want to get away from you. So yeah, that's the main reason I decided to get a brown recluse was just because I wanted to show how they're not these big, bad, scary monsters that people make them out to be. They're just little brown spiders. And yeah, they pack a venomous punch, but that's why we don't play with them. So the brown recluse is currently in a cut because he kind of made a run for it, but 
let's see. Come on. We're trying to show the world how cute you are. So there we go. There it is. The brown recluse. Is it everything that you hoped for? <laughs> Do not run. Do not run. That is why we have the catch cup. Well, anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short, but I just wanted to do a little bit of sharing some of the, my animals, which is my favorite thing to do, and just sharing that these kind of villainized, demonized bugs are not so bad after all, that they're not out to get you, and that they deserve to be appreciated and respected just like anything else. And I don't know how many times I have to say this, this is not an invitation to go play with them. <laughs> And, you know, don't take them on as a pet unless you feel comfortable doing so. But, yeah, I just think they're great. I don't know what else I can say. But I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me and us, all my animals, on TikTok where we post more little short casual videos and Instagram where we share some photos. So, yeah, please feel free to check us out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day week, year, life. Okay, <laughs> that's all. Thank you for your participation.